Whether you've gone for a second helping of dessert and overdone it, or you've just cooked too much to be eaten in one go, cling film can save your day. Used to keep food fresh and famous for its sticky ability to hang onto the surfaces it's plastered onto, cling film is a kitchen essential that's often taken for granted. But how do they make this miracle plastic coating that keeps food fresh? Cling film is made out of polyethylene because it's safe to use with food products. This plastic is made from crude oil refined into kerosene. When kerosene is filtered and processed, the result is polyethylene in a solid form. The granulated raw material arrives at the production plant in large tankers like this one. It takes about 50 tons of granules to make 14 kilometers of cling film. Lorries arrive once a week to keep the silos topped up. And this is the machine that makes it happen. The granulated polyethylene is fed continually into a rotating hopper. It's then heated to anywhere between 2 and 300 degrees Celsius until melted. Two large air compressors are connected to the hopper. They blast air through the liquid plastic, causing it to blow up like a large bubble which emerges from the top. The machinery keeps spinning so the plastic material is evenly distributed around the bubble surface, eliminating any weak spots. The bubble is also monitored by sensors which ensure the plastic skin has a uniform thickness. On the floor above, the 10 meter high bubble of cling film is carefully flattened to form a double layered sheet. This is wound onto a large roller ready for the next step. But before we go on, there's one mystery still to be solved. How does cling film cling? Some people think it's static, but it's actually a kind of glue. Added to the raw granules, it acts like honey, giving the film its useful adhesive quality. The enormous double sheet of sticky film is now fed into this machine where it's divided into separate sheets and cut down to size. Two enormous rolls become ten smaller ones, far more suitable for use in a domestic kitchen. To be sure the film is up to scratch, thickness tests are run on sample batches of the new rolls. But these aren't the only tests the cling film must pass. The factory has its own laboratory where random samples are sent to be assessed. Cling film must be strong as well as sticky, and this test measures toughness. Durability is also important. To create an airtight seal, cling film has to stretch without breaking. This test measures elasticity, and the plastic must reach seven times its normal length to pass. When the array of tests have been completed, the cling film is ready to be packaged up for the customer. Using ordinary sellotape, the operator will stick a new roll of cling film to the packaging machine and set it to work. Every day, this factory can produce 1,500 kilometers of fresh film, and each one of these 9,000 meter long rolls contains enough film for 180 tubes. Each tube alone contains 50 meters of film, and the packaging process runs non-stop. As the fresh tubes emerge, they're passed on to a conveyor belt which carries them to a separate part of the factory, ready for packaging. Meanwhile, this machine is folding and preparing the boxes for the rolls. Boxes and film are brought together and a spinning wheel closes and seals them up, ready to be sent out to the shops. So that's the story of cling film unraveled, the modern innovation that's got us covered in the kitchen. Thanks for sticking with us.